and chyma cells. Now, what is a uh, tissue? Simple tissue. Simple tissue is a co collection of similar cells that perform a common function is called as simple tissue of which the first one is parenchyma cells. Now parenchyma cell is nothing but it is a simple tissue with thin walled cells. The cell wall of this parenchyma is made up of cell wall is made up of cellulose. or calcium pectate. Now these parenchyma cells are living cells and distinct nucleus. Parenchyma cells are the living cells, these are the simple primitive permanent tissues one of the simple permanent tissues, parenchyma cells, there are few or more intercellular spaces are there spaces, intercellular spaces will be there, this area is called as the space, this is called as the intercellular spaces, this is a, a, a diagram of parenchyma tissue, the round oval shape, cell wall is made up of calcium or calcium, uh, calcium pectate or cellulose, cells are living the, which has a distinct nucleus in it one single nucleus will be present and this may be either oval spherical or rectangular or cylindrical in shape and the tissue is generally this parenchyma tissue uh, we see, we have studied when we study about cortex stem internal structure root all the ground tissue all the ground tissue is present made up of ground part of the structure tears of a stem root all the ground part is made up of parenchyma like we have uh, this may be present in the root TS, it may be present in the stem TS, it may be present in the leaf TS. Now, in case of roots, it constitutes the ground tissue of all the parts of the plants and in generally it will be occupying the root, cortex, pith, uh, all these regions will be made up of parenchyma cells. For example, in land plants, okay, in land plants, the tissue is round oval with small intercellular spaces. Now next in floating plants or in water plants, you have the parenchyma with large air spaces. This is parenchyma in the water plants floating or in hydrophatic plants the parenchyma the tissue will have the air spaces which is much larger than the cells so this helps in maintaining the air balance of the plant now this parenchyma is again differentiated into depending upon the this parenchyma is again differentiated into different types depending upon the structure and function so parenchyma is again of different types of which first one is called as chlorenchyma what is chlorenchyma? A chlorenchyma is a type of parenchymatous tissue which helps in the functioning of or which uh, a parenchyma tissue which undergoes the process of photosynthesis. So where, where, where we can find this parenchymatous tissue? A parenchymatous tissue which undergoes photosynthesis normally the green leaves will have chlorenchymatous tissues. The chlorenchyma which undergoes photosynthesis are called as chlorenchymatous tissues. Normally, these are common in palisade and spongy parenchyma. These are this chlorenchyma tissues are seen in palisade and spongy parenchyma. Where do you see the palisade and spongy parenchyma? When we take the TS section of the leaf, we will see the palisade. For example, this is this is cuticle, this is epidermis and you will have palisade tissue. Next you have spongy tissues. If you take the TS of the leaf, you will have palisade tissue and spongy tissue. In monocots and dicots leaves, you will have the palisade tissue barrel shaped cells which will be undergoing the uh, helpful in the uh, photosynthesis and this type of parenchyma which is present here is called as chlorenchyma. Okay, as we said, uh, for example, in almost all the dicots and monocots, the intercellular spaces are usually absent in the uh, chlorine. What is intercellular space? The space between the, this, this area. 
the space between the two parenchymata cells, the in between the space is called as intercellular spaces are usually absent and in where it is absent for example, in all the monocots, dicot leaf palisade tissue, if you observe the palisade tissue, this is palisade tissue and it is barrel shaped cells and these are compactly arranged, there is no chances of any intercellular spaces. Next come is uh, spongy tissue, but in spongy tissue you can see, if you see the diagram of TS of leaf, if these are spongy tissues, the space in between this, this space will show that the intercellular spaces in chlorenchyma in case of palisade tissue is not clear, but in case of spongy tissue we can see the presence of intercellular spaces. Now next one more type of parenchyma, this is also one type of parenchyma test tissue which is almost always seen in all the hydrophytic plants. It shows the presence of intercellular spaces well developed. This cells due to the presence of For example, this is a figure of an Arenchyma cells if you see rough figure. So in Arenchyma cells, the opening or the intercellular spaces are very well developed. The opening is bigger than the normal cells. This is the va vacuum space, air which is present in the hydrophytic plants. And this empty spaces, because the empty spaces in the air and chyma tissue is more than the normal cell structure, this helps in the phenomena called as bio NC. It helps in the maintaining of the air balance in the floating plants or in hydrophytic plants. This kind of, uh, this kind of parenchymatous tissue which has more air spaces than the normal size of the cell, then this type is called as Arenchyma. Next one is you have one more type of parenchyma is present that is called as storage parenchyma. Another type of parenchyma which is uh, being characterized uh, is called as storage parenchyma. It is also called as it also consists of leucoplasts. As the name itself indicates, it helps in the storage of the food materials. It also consists of leucoplast. It may store either a solid food material or a liquid food material. Parenchyma does not have intercellular spaces. There are no intercellular spaces like they will be storing like carbohydrates or sugar oils, all these will be stored. For example, this type of parenchyma you can see in beetroots. This is one type storage parenchyma which is seen in the beetroots. There are no intercellular spaces in this. The proteins, nitrogenous materials, all these uh, mid, uh, proteins, carbohydrates, sugars, this type of food materials are stored in this type of parenchyma. Whatever storage of all this material is there done by storage parenchyma. Okay, next one. Another type of parenchyma is called as prosenchyma. It is also called as ray parenchyma. Now, normally this type of parenchyma is seen in the pericycle. These are called as ray parenchyma. This type of tissues are present almost in all the pericycle. This is helpful in the uh, pericycle. Next one is stellate parenchyma. There is one more parenchyma. Here I can write. Fifth, fifth type of parenchyma is the stellate parenchyma. For example, uh, in some plants like banana, and canna. I hope you all know canna plants with a show flower plant long with red flowers. So, this type of uh, plants, the leaves or the, uh, the parent hematous tissues which are present in the plants like banana and canna will show a parent hema in the form of star shape, stellate or star shaped uh, parent hema is present. So, that is why the name is given as stellate parenchyma. So, these are the, uh, these are the types of uh, parenchyma which are there. 
in your syllabus like parenchyma is the primitive permanent first simple permanent tissue parenchyma is made up of having different types if this type of parenchyma which is helpful in the undergoing photosynthesis participates in photosynthesis then that is chlorenchyma erenchyma which helps in all the floating plants or hydrophytic plants helpful in undergoing or maintaining the buoyancy storage parenchyma is a type of parenchyma which helps in the storage of the food material maybe it is in the liquid form or solid form carbohydrates proteins all the sugars next prosenchyma is a type of parenchyma which is present in the pericycle next stellate parenchyma are those parenchyma which are present in the maximum leaves of the banana plant okay these are the different types of parenchyma 